History is an amazing thing. It happens one day at a time, and for the most part, we never know which days will be historically significant. One quiet little town has been creating its history for more than 160 years. It endures by preserving the past, savoring the present, and building for the future. Welcome to Hobart, Indiana. Surrounding the scenic 240-acre Lake George, Hobart could best be described as a hometown for anyone. There's nothing pretentious about it. It's a city filled with the kind of people that make good neighbors and friends, where families are raised with a strong work ethic and an appreciation for their community. It's the people you see working every day that make their jobs look like a joyous part of who they are. It doesn't matter what the job is. There seems to be a personal satisfaction that can only be described as enjoying an exceptional quality of life. The city is peppered with reminders of a proud history, as well as the memory of the resolute people that created it. A prime example of preserving the past would be the old railroad station. What at one time was the hub of transportation in this area is today the office of the local chamber of commerce. It's that kind of creative thinking that allows a town to make best use of its assets. Some of Hobart's most frequently enjoyed assets are the 24 public parks, each with a unique identity and an invitation to make the most of those beautiful summer days. Whether it's a picnic, a concert, sports, or playgrounds, there's enough variety to satisfy just about anyone. And while some people would view a day of leisure as an excuse to lay out in the sun, others are drawn to the peaceful shaded shores of Lake Robinson. Of course, the community pool is always a playful oasis for those sweltering summer days. And as soon as everything is cleaned and the water is thoroughly tested, the pool is ready for a full day of fun. Perhaps your choice is to spend a little time splashing in the shallow end. Or maybe you feel obliged to demonstrate those amazing diving techniques. Another summertime tradition is Little League Baseball, and while soccer has become very popular, it's still baseball that captures the imagination of every would-be future all-star. The expression, nothing beats a day at the old ballpark, still holds true. Hobart has a great many resources, but none as influential to our young people as the Hobart school system. Today, more than ever, a quality education is essential. We are truly privileged to have an amazing group of dedicated teachers that take a genuine interest in the success of each student. Our most recent source of pride is the new Hobart High School. In our quest to remain at the forefront of education and technology, it becomes a revered obligation to ensure that our young people are equipped with the knowledge and the intellect to become skilled leaders of tomorrow. Of course, Hobart's celebrated athletic traditions are sure to continue, with nearly a third of the serene 78-acre campus being dedicated to sports. The atmosphere for education, mind and body, is obvious in this beautiful new high school. In addition to our public schools, outstanding selections of private schools are also available. Hobart's downtown area is like a familiar old friend. It has a charisma that draws you in and makes you feel welcome. There's a feeling of life at a simpler time that's punctuated by practically everything that surrounds you, from the gracious demeanor of the people you meet on the sidewalks to the mournful drone of the train's whistle as it makes its way across Main Street and along the countryside. The businesses that line the streets are clean and inviting, and a visit with any of them explains why this is known as the friendly city. It's an intricate medley of shops and services, necessities and whimsy, where each business is an individual gift waiting to be discovered. Bistro 54 is where fine dining is tastefully represented. This historic 1895 location is the home of ambrosial feasts. 
the culinary artistry is sure to delight even the most sophisticated palate. A few blocks south, the skills and disciplines of martial arts are being respectfully taught, all under the watchful eye of Sensei Pavletic. Just around the corner, arrangements are being made for scuba lessons at the same place that equips most of the region's rescue dive teams. The point is that the downtown area is more than just a collection of businesses. It's a tastefully garnished heritage that continues to flourish. It's an accumulation of intriguing people and personalities, things to see and do, lives and stories. It's a small town nirvana that captures the imagination as well as your heart. Any discussion of downtown Hobart wouldn't be complete without a tour of Lakefront Park. Undoubtedly, this is one of the most beautifully designed shorelines in all of Indiana. The recently completed Phase 3 of the shoreline continues the same visual theme, creating a kind of enchanted lagoon in a comparatively secluded section of Lake George. The clock tower is a favored spot where people meet for a leisurely stroll along the promenade maybe pausing long enough at the gazebo to visit with friends or simply enjoy the ambiance. This beautiful covered walkway is the Lou Cook to Memorial Bridge. It actually connects Lakefront Park and Festival Park and was built solely from the generous donations and the sweat of many tireless volunteers. This magnificent piece of architecture stands as a symbol to the effect of one man's life on his family, friends, and community. Festival Park is another example of exquisite design. It, like Lakefront Park, also shares a portion of the Lake George shoreline. The area is comfortable and friendly, and the occasional sight of people with their best furry friends adds to the sense of family. The decorative brick paths and vintage street lighting that surround the park's bandshell create an idyllic setting for a young couple to exchange wedding vows. The bandshell is also the stage for the very popular summer concerts. This peaceful realm is the perfect sanctuary for sharing with the special people in your life. As with any city, the need for quality medical care is a necessity. The recently expanded and redesigned St. Mary Medical Center is credited with meeting the nation's highest standard of care. Also, as part of community health care systems, St. Mary Medical Center is privileged to have access to new technologies that are available to only a small percentage of hospitals nationwide. The strength of any community can be judged by the willingness of our people to serve. In 1891, this group of dedicated volunteers formed Hobart's first fire department. Today, the community is served by four strategically located fire stations throughout the city. Station number one is the home of the Firefighters Memorial, honoring the courage of their fallen brethren. The city proper is a patchwork of wonderfully expressive houses and neighborhoods, each with a distinctive history and attraction. There's everything from large elegant homes to flawless little bungalows, with most houses falling comfortably between the extremes. Mature trees that line the streets add to the proven character of these stately old neighborhoods. Within a few minutes drive, a rural atmosphere becomes a prominent influence. A spattering of houses dot the landscape, interrupted by unspoiled tracts of natural prairie. Burgeoning fields of corn surround the occasional working farm, creating glimpses of a time when agriculture was the principal industry. It's recognition that for all our progress, the individual farmer is still the backbone of this country. It's the tenacious grit of men turning the same soil as their fathers before them, living traditions handed down for generations, and loving a lifestyle that most of us 
would consider just too much work. Whether you prefer an agricultural setting or the fashionable appeal of modern suburbia, it's all part of the nature of Hobart. The business climate in Hobart is exceptionally healthy. With every sort of expertise, career, trade, occupation, or establishment you can imagine. Whether it's something as specialized as the care and boarding of horses, or finding a way to fulfill man's desire to fly, it can all be found in Hobart. The sheer range of diversity is inspiring. It's a place where the individual entrepreneur has a chance to make his mark in the world and where a passion can become a profession. It's where finding your personal boundaries and limitations are only an excuse to exceed them and the willingness to push oneself is its own reward. The most remarkable oddity is that even with the extensive collection of enterprises, the vast majority of the city has retained a small town approach in regard to the people they do business with. There's an air of familiarity that makes you feel more like a friend than a customer. Apart from the seemingly endless array of businesses scattered throughout the city, the heaviest concentration is located along the US 30 corridor within Hobart's southernmost border. The Westfield Mall itself is a mammoth multi-level structure with more than 250 individual stores enclosed in year-round perfect climate. Combine this with the impressive collection of singular corporate-owned identities and you can see why this is a shopper's paradise. The setting of the sun only magnifies the commercial reality of this section of Holbert, as colorful neon and lighted signs urge the passerby to visit their establishments. Friends gather for an evening of light-hearted entertainment, while theaters, restaurants, and pubs provide the atmosphere for an active bit of nightlife. Of all the gifts Hobart has to offer, the most cherished would have to be her people. It's easy to talk about a city that's been successful for more than 160 years, but at some point you have to acknowledge that it's the people that give the city its heart. A great number of Hobart people are active in local civic organizations that champion a particular cause or charity. It's this kind of involvement that makes these groups so beneficial to any community. One such group, the JCs, recently donated this large assortment of playground equipment that these city workers are installing at Veterans Park. The park itself is noted for the dramatic military monument that pays tribute to the bravery and dedication shown by all branches of the service. Another patriotic monument the people of Hobart hold dear is the statue of a World War I soldier that stands just south of downtown. The names of those lost to World Wars I and II, Korea and Vietnam, are inscribed on plaques and commemorative bricks as a solemn memory of the heroes that made the ultimate sacrifice while defending our freedoms. Sadly, the names of other valiant sons and daughters of Hobart will eventually find their way to this loving remembrance. Most people have a hobby or something they consider their thing. Generally, it's not an all-consuming passion, but there are exceptions. Whether you're a golfer or the spouse of a golfer, you have to admit that the attraction is unlike any other. These steadfast prisoners of the game will suffer through annoyance, frustration, embarrassment, foul weather, and marital stress, all for the occasional moment of genuine ecstasy. The immediate area is home to an extraordinary number of impressive and challenging courses, including two tucked away solely within Hobart's borders. It seems odd to try and explain, but Hobart just does something to people. It makes you part of its family. In an almost surrealistic way, 
you feel like you've finally come home. It's the kind of town that you quietly fall in love with, but there's an almost humorous guilt at not being able to point to any particular reason. It's just a little bit of everything. You find yourself rooting for the hometown football team, the Brickies, and something as mundane as going for a Sunday ride can lead to a visual plethora of people, places, and things you never knew existed. Practically every street has a contribution to the overall appeal of the city. Maybe it's a particular house that for whatever reason draws your attention, or possibly a bit of landscaping that can only be described as artistic genius. It's not the major elements of the city that command your heart. It's the individual bits of personal comfort that make your heart feel at home. It could be nothing more than the secure feeling of driving down your own street, or the joy associated with a familiar route, where the scenery is enough to cause the spirit to soar. In any case, it's all part of Hobart. This city prides itself on her history, but just as important is the development of new commercial enterprises. The fact that Hobart has managed to successfully blend the best of the past with a progressive eye toward the future is what makes it so inviting for new industries. Whether it's a methodically paced expansion of an industrial complex or something as personal as one man's dream to build and operate his own microbrewery. Often it's the welcoming appeal and security of a trusted business, a prominent corporate presence, and in at least one case, it's where the proverbial gingerbread house meets the factory. This city is based on good down-to-earth people, and with that quality comes limitless potential. Economically, it's a proven place to grow a business, and emotionally, it's the perfect place to grow a family. It's obvious that time has been kind to Hobart, but even more meaningful in today's world is the kind of contentment that's shared by so many of her people. It's a place where life is joyously noted one day at a time, and the accumulation of tomorrows are welcome with the enthusiasm of a newlywed. It's the changing of seasons that build into the gradual telling of another year's passing, another story, another series of chapters. It's factual accounts, incredible myths, and rustic folklore. All the elements that gently weave themselves into the fabric of a city's credentials. This is Hobart. It's where memories are born and futures are waiting. This is Hobart.